Uh, on behalf of Mayor Wayne Zitt and the Guttenberg Town Council, I'd like to welcome you all to our annual Veterans Day celebration. Uh, today we honor the men and women who called, uh, who took the call of service uh, for our great country, the United States of America. And although we thank them throughout the year, this is a special day for us because we want them to understand, and not only them, but their families, the amount of sacrifice it takes uh, to take up armed forces on behalf of our great country and the residents that live here. So with that, uh, I'd like everyone to please rise and ask that the uh, Guttenberg Police Honor Guard present the colors. Honor Guard, attend hut. Mark time, march. Left, 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 right. Forward, march. Left, 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 right. Guard, halt. Left face. This time, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Honor Guard, present on. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's my great honor to call up our esteemed national anthem singer, my sister, Angela Marie Cyril. <laughs> dignitaries that are here with us this morning without whom uh, this event and many of the events that we have here in the great town of Guttenberg would not be possible and they make sure that these events continue to happen uh, as tradition here for many 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 years so starting with our mayor mayor Wayne Zitt <laughs> councilwoman Monica Fundora councilman John Hammerman councilwoman Juana Malave and councilman Richard De La Fuente also joining us today is the Executive Director of the Guttenberg Housing Authority, Mr. Rudis Andrade. Uh, and please give a great big round of applause to the men and women uh, in blue of our Guttenberg Police Department who are there each and every day for our residents. And the great work of our Guttenberg DPW under the leadership of Hector Hernandez. Last but certainly not least, we'd like to recognize at this time all of the veterans who have served our great country that are here with us today. Please uh, stand or wave and be recognized for everyone that uh, has served this great country. Thank you very, very much. All right. At this time, I'd like to call up Mayor Wayne Zitt to say a couple of words. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Cosmo. Um, Thank you everybody today coming in, good morning. 
As Cosmo said, today's a special day, but every day for us, we got to recognize the veterans. We're fortunate enough to have two work in our, uh, actually two in our town hall and a couple in the police department. Uh, the sacrifices they have made for this country, for us and their families, goes leaps and bounds for us. I mean, our freedom here today is because of the individuals that go abroad and fight for this great country. Um, as a community leader, our county leaders, the state leaders, federal, we got to do better for the veterans. When they come back and transition back, we got to do more for them. Make sure that there's enough resources here. We got to make sure we can help out with opportunities of employment and continue that tr transition back into society here to show the appreciation that, that we owe them. But um, again, Jessica, congratulations today. Mr. Harris, I see you back there. Thank you for your service. Mr. Kaczynski was here earlier. Hiram, thank you for your service. Um, and again, Cosmo touched on it. Today's a special day, but every day we got to recognize other veterans. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. At this time, uh, as the Mayor mentioned, we're honored to have a uh, few veterans that work with us uh, as co-workers, and I'm proud to call them co-workers in Gutenberg Town Hall. Uh, it's not just about work, it's about family for us. And we all work together to serve the great residents of this community and this town because they deserve the service that they get. So uh, with that, uh, I'm honored to call up Mr. Hiram Gonzalez, a member of the Marine Corps, uh, who also works in our finance department in Town Hall, to read the veterans thing. On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank our veterans just the same. Each year, we are proud to recognize an individual uh, who exemplifies service to our country above self, who uh, makes us proud each and every day. And although it's very difficult to choose each and every year, the mayor and council have a difficult uh, job in that. Uh, I'm really proud of the choice they've made this year. It's somebody who uh, gives herself to this community with a full heart, um, serves as not only a proud member of our community, but also uh, as an employee at Town Hall, uh, as our deputy tax assessor. So please, if you can stand and be recognized, our veteran of the year for 2022, Miss Jessica Ray. Uh, I'm gonna take a minute to read the proclamation. I know it's starting to drizzle, so we're gonna go a little quickly, but uh, just to recognize, for those that may not know, Jessica just returned from a year-long service abroad. Um, and although she was extremely missed, we knew uh, she was doing very important work for not only uh, the Army, but also for the United States of America overseas. So we thank her uh, for her outstanding service uh, to this great country. So thank you, Jessica. Proclamation from the Mayor and Council. Whereas Staff Sergeant Jessica Reyes was born and raised in Hudson County and enlisted in the New Jersey Army National Guard at the age of 17 and graduated from basic training in June of 2013. And whereas Staff Sergeant Reyes was deployed overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Inherent Resolve with the 462nd Movement Control Battalion out of Trenton, New Jersey. Whereas Staff Sergeant Reyes has been awarded uh, awards and decorations which include the Army Commendation Medal, two Army Achievement Medal, three Army Reserve Component Achievement Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Global War on Terrorism Exemplary Medal, the Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, the NCO Deployment Ribbon, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon. Whereas Staff Sergeant Reyes currently serves a residence of the town of Guttenberg as our Deputy Tax, Collect uh, tax Assessor and Board Secretary for the Joint Planning and Zoning Board. Whereas we owe a great debt to those who have served in defense of this great nation, and whereas throughout the generations their sacrifices have preserved our unique form of government dedicated to human rights and respect for the individual. Now therefore be it resolved that Mayor Wayne Zitt and the Guttenberg Town Council of Hudson County, New Jersey, uh, on the occasion of being named the Guttenberg Veteran of the Year, honor 
today, November 11, 2022, Staff Sergeant Jessica Reyes for her exemplary and inspiring military career. Congratulations. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank the mayor and council for this award. I would also like to thank God, my family and friends, and my co-workers who have made this possible. Without them, uh, it would be very difficult. As a token of appreciation, I also would like to present a command team point to three special individuals who have made uh, my last appointment uh, very easy and On behalf of the 462nd Movement Control Battalion and myself, I would like to present this coin to Mayor Zitt for your continued support. I would like, also like to present this coin to Mr. Cosmo Cirillo. Yeah. Last but not least, I wanted to present the coin to uh, Mr. John DeStefano, who could not make it tonight, but who constantly checked up on me and continued sending me care packages and made sure that I was always doing a well, okay during the hard times. Uh, to all the past and present veterans, I would like to say thank you for your service and thank you for you and your, the sacrifices that you and your family have made. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Sergeant, uh, for those inspiring words and for your service and sacrifice for our country. Um, at this time, uh, I'm going to ask Staff Sergeant Reyes uh, and Mr. Gonzalez to take our annual Veterans Day wreath uh, in honor of all those who have served our country uh, from all branches of service uh, and place it at the monument behind us, uh, which recognizes all those that have died uh, and sacrificed their lives from the town of Guttenberg. Uh, in the war since the start of this country. Take a moment, uh, if you know anyone, current or former, who has served in the armed forces, thank them for their service. Uh, it is a special individual who is able to heed the call of service uh, to our great nation. So thank you, God bless. And at this time, uh, if everyone can please rise, I'm gonna ask that the uh, Guttenberg Police Honor Guard retire the comers. Honor Guard, attend hut. <laughs> right, face. Mark time. March. Uh, just. Forward, march. 